Welcome everyone. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how um, I would print from uh, my computer. Now this is going to be a little different for each um, printer, but hopefully this will give you some idea of um, the settings and things that you need to look for for, for the specifications in your computer. Um, I'm going to record this video twice, first on XP and then on Vista because Vista does um, look very different from the tools in XP. Now I like to use the uh, program that comes with Windows, the Windows Picture and Fax Viewer. I also like to view my files um, with this. So I, I like to have all of my um, JPEG files opening up in the Windows Picture and uh, Fax Viewer. And if you do not have that set as your default um, to open up in that, that is it very easily achieved. Right click, these are, these are my um, Shutterfly book for Halloween and these are all my layouts. So right click on a JPEG and go down to open with and I realize some of this is off your screen and you cannot see it um, but you want to uh, up here is a list of all the programs you could open it with and you'll see Windows Picture and Fax Viewer at the top of mine but I could set any any number of these as a, the default or I could just open them up in one of these uh, for for one time by clicking on any of these in the list but I want to make it my default and so I'm going to do choose program and the pop-up comes up and I'm going to look through the list and I'll find my Windows picture and fax viewer and the important step is to check mark this box it says always use the selected program to open this kind of file and then click OK and my layouts going to open up in uh, the Windows picture and fax viewer and now the default is set so any um, file that's a JPEG file will open up just by double clicking in the Windows picture and fax viewer you can do that with any program and any extensions. To print my layout, down here at the bottom is an icon for printing and I'm going to click on it and it's going to open up uh, the Windows Picture and Fax Viewer uh, photo printing wizard. So I'm going to click Next. Um, here I have all of my um, JPEGs in this particular photo and you'll notice that the first one is checked and not all the others. If I wanted to print more than one for a contact sheet, at this point this is where I would um, select and check mark more. Um, if I was making a contact sheet of say um, all of uh, the thumbnails for everything in a particular kit to print out, some people like to do that. You hit the next button and then you'll see here in the in the menu is my the name of my printer at this point I'm going to open up the printer preferences and this is where um, this is going to vary because this is actually regulated by my printer and so yours may look different at this point I'm going to choose my paper and I tend to use an HP photo glossy paper because I have an HP printer and it's always best to have your papers matching your printer and I want you to note up here at the top where it says print quality it's going to change when I choose my paper and I always want to print my layouts as a, a best quality but but when I choose my paper it sets that for me and then I'm going to go to the layout tab and I like to print my layouts in um, letter sized paper because I make them in letter sized paper but if you are printing an 8x8 layout you would also um, choose uh, this size paper the important part when you're doing a square um, layout on a rectangle piece of paper is to look for something that says uh, s something similar to scale to fit. If you would click this and set it to resize or scale to fit to that piece of paper, let me try that, 
it didn't accept it in the settings. I don't know why because I've never tried to do it. But that if you if I would um, do those settings, then um, the uh, square layout is going to stretch to fit that rectangular page and it's no longer going to be proportionate. So you need to be careful if you are doing a square layout on a rectangle piece of paper not to have that scale to fit um, selected. And then um, once you've chosen your paper you're going to just click OK and go back out to the photo printing wizard and click Next. It's going to generate a preview for you um, for you to look at and I do have a square page here on a rectangle piece of paper and you can see that the preview is fine if it were I did notice if I click on full page photo print it's going to generate a preview that is stretched from end to end and that is something I do not want you just have to play with your computer and your settings. If I wanted to print that contact sheet, I would click on this. And if I had in um, the previous setting where I showed you uh, check marked all of the boxes, um, this whole piece of paper would uh, fill up with 35 different thumbnails of everything in a particular kit for me to print out. And so if I like my preview, I'm going to click Next and um, it's going to go ahead and send my print job to the printer and I, it, I <laughs> purposefully took all my paper out because I really didn't want to print and so then um, when you're done it's going to say finish and you just click on that and you can close this out. I really like using the Windows Picture and Fax Viewer because um, it seems to bring up the photos and uh, full screen photos. I have it set small for the purpose of this tutorial and I can quickly go through by just clicking this button and, and look at look at everything in the file. Um, and I can also zoom in or uh, turn the pictures if I need to um, in my camera. It's not always recommended to rotate those. Sometimes it does uh, reduce the quality. Um, they give warnings of that. And so I hope you have learned um, something, and I hope this hope is hopeful, helpful in uh, you uh, using um, your printer specifications.